I'm Chris, you're watching Fragmental. Formal occasions are often the type of events where we're dressed to impress, but we also want to smell as good as hell. Couldn't think of a better rhyme. Anyway, here are seven amazing formal occasion fragrances. Stay tuned. I don't know about you, but I love dressing up smart for formal occasions, and I also love having a fragrance that matches the more formal attire. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about fragrances that are high quality, statement making, empowering, and also have great performance. So I've decided to pick seven for this video. It was really tough. I feel like I've got so many fragrances that are excellent formal occasion fragrances, but these are the seven that I've settled on today for this video. It's a mixture of designer and niche. Prices range from £30 all the way up to £600. So hopefully there's something here for everyone. Okay, let's dive in. So these fragrances aren't in any kind of order. I just think they're all stunning scents. And let's start with one that is definitely for formal occasions because it says so on the bottle. From House of Siage, it's the formal. This one has pepper, citruses, spices, and woods, and it just smells incredible. This is a fresh, spicy, sophisticated type of scent. There's cloves, nutmeg, ginger. Because of these type of notes, it has great projection. It's very clean smelling, but it's not just fresh and clean. It does have some depth to it. There's some woods, tonka, and amber, which provide a real gravitas to the base of this. Another thing that I would say about this fragrance, which is in line with a lot of fragrances from House of Siage is it smells quite mainstream so it doesn't quite smell designer because I feel like it smells of higher quality than a lot of designer fragrances so it's kind of high quality but quite mainstream and mass appealing so super easy to wear I think anyone around you smelling this is gonna really enjoy it it's not a challenging fragrance in the slightest it smells so good I'm just gonna have to have a little spray in fact I love the atomizers on here because click that little button it's like a zippo let's have a spray oh so good. If you like fresh, clean, spicy type of fragrances that smell sophisticated, if you like to wear these type of scents at formal occasions, I can highly recommend trying the formal from House of Siage. The next one is a designer fragrance from one of my favorite designer houses. You might want to wear this fragrance if you want people to smell you and think you smell very modern and confident in yourself and a little bit metrosexual, so, you know, very modern man. From Dior, it's Dior en Parfum. Talking about making a statement, this one certainly does that. It's built around this gorgeous, sweet iris accord. There's some leather as well, which provides some masculinity. This is potent stuff. It projects big. It lasts long. When I'm wearing this, it really emboldens me. I feel confident, which is what I wanna feel when I'm dressed up sharp, wearing a suit. And I just smelled this again. And this has only just occurred to me, but I get a little bit of booziness from this. Never hear it mentioned at all, and I've never mentioned it before, but just smelling it just now as I've sprayed it um, for this video, I get a little bit of booziness from it. Just a little hint. It's not something that is in the notes. It's not something that is talked about, it's not something I've ever mentioned before, but just having a little smell now, it kind of reminds me of a Jack Daniels and Coke. Don't know why, but I like it. Maybe it's just me, anyone else get that at all? Anyway, smell good, smell modern, wear Dior on Parfum. So we're going to Creed next, and this is a lesser talked about Creed, maybe because it's not quite as versatile, but when worn just at the right time, in my opinion, this fragrance is amazing. It's Royal Mayfair. This one has pine, eucalyptus, sweet warming woods, and to me, it is the epitome of regal sophistication, which is why it works so incredibly well as a formal occasion scent. Whenever I smell Royal Mayfair, it always makes me think of um, 
opening a can of fresh tennis balls. You know, with the ring pull and the, the air comes out and you just get that scent. Obviously, it doesn't smell exactly the same, but there's something about that, for some reason, that reminds me of it. Uh, but it is a really beautiful smell. You're not gonna smell like a tennis ball, trust me. But maybe if I'm ever going to a formal occasion at Wimbledon, Royal Mayfair is the scent that I would go for. It was actually originally released under the name of Windsor in 1936 because it was made personally for King Edward VII and then it was relaunched in 2009 as a limited run and then rebranded and relaunched in 2015 as Royal Mayfair. I just adore this stuff but do try before you buy because it maybe is a bit more of an acquired taste, it's very unique. It doesn't really smell like anything else that I'm aware of and I think maybe it leans a little more mature as well so you're better off trying to smell this don't don't bly by it because you know it's not a cheap fragrance either but I adore this stuff may not be to everyone's tastes but it certainly is to mine join the scent geeks every Monday as we podcast about all things fragrance you'll find us anywhere you can usually find a podcast links are in the description below this video see you there geeks Here's one from Swedoft and it's fragrances like this that are really making me appreciate rose as a note in masculine fragrances. It's Black Rose. This is Rose Chamomile Oud and Incense. It's just dripping in quality and it's actually quite a light and airy fragrance despite the presence of oud but the oud here is blended in such a way that it has this intoxicating slightly medicinal clean profile which just seems to complement the damask rose perfectly all the while incense is swirling around lending a mysterious quality i just think this is insanely classic stuff it's rose and oud blended to perfection which certainly makes the statement i'm looking for at a formal occasion. The next one is from Gucci. It's actually the only Gucci fragrance I own and it's probably also the most challenging one on this list. If you want to smell bold and unique, you might want to try Gucci Guilty Absolute. Now this is a slightly strange medical ointment type of smell and it's not going to be for everyone. I imagine it being quite a divisive fragrance. At first, I didn't get it, but there's something about this. Don't know what it is. There's something about it that makes me keep coming back for more. Maybe it's just the fact it's so unique and different and I haven't smelled anything else like this. I'm not sure. It's certainly quite artistic and definitely breaks out of that mainstream mold that a lot of designer fragrances sit in. Having said that, it does smooth and soften the more you wear it. If you're looking to uh, get noticed and make a statement, then Gucci Guilty Absolute is gonna do that for you. This is also the cheapest on this list. I had a little look and it's selling for 30 pounds or there and thereabouts on the Tino at the moment. So. If you feel like you want something that is going to make you stand out, that is uh, unique, it's not going to cost you that much. Another designer, this one's from Tom Ford. I could have gone with Tuscan Leather because I adore that fragrance, but in the end I went with the slightly more mass appealing version of that DNA. It's Ombre Leather. So this is fruits and leather like in Tuscan leather but I feel like it's a little more smoothed out which makes it less challenging for, well, most women it seems like. Uh, this is still rich and potent but it definitely is going to be attracting people rather than repelling them. I think this DNA just works superbly well in the autumn so I'm hoping as we're approaching autumn I have some uh, socially distanced social occasions that I can wear this fragrance at and because it performs really well even people stood a few meters away from you will smell this and they'll be wondering who is smelling so damn good. Well it's you and don't be afraid to tell them that. So we cannot have a video about formal fragrances without something from Roger Parfums. This one is a little on the expensive side, but damn, it smells of pure class. It's Amber Oud. This 
The quality of materials here is just on another level, as you would expect from Roger Parfums being an expensive luxury niche brand. We've got fruits and rose and oud. It just smells so luxurious and opulent. There's a beautiful sweetness and lots of depth. It's incredibly smooth and well blended. It's a very potent fragrance, so this has beast mode performance on me. I don't need many sprays of this. If you're the kind of person that wants to walk into a room at a formal occasion and smell like the most expensive human in there, then Unbrewed might be for you. This one at full retail is gonna set you back close to 600 pounds, so it's not a cheap fragrance. Don't blind buy this one. Do smell it if you can. Sample it, go into a store, have a sniff. But if you enjoy luxury and superb quality, then I think you'll like Amberoud just as much as I do. Beautiful. So there are a few recommendations for formal wear fragrances based on what I have here in my collection. I could have included so many more, but throw down in the comments your top three formal fragrances and let's see what you're all wearing when you're dressed up nice and smart. So that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful. Thank you very much for watching. Remember, keep tuning into FM, keep smelling good, and I'll see you in the next video.